back in Virginia. What a magnificently beautiful state you all have, I tell you. Ladies and gentlemen, Romney describes nearly half the American people as seeing themselves as victims, unwilling to take responsibility for their own lives. When he said, it's not my job to worry about these people, well, whose job is it? Ladies and gentlemen, we are our brother's keeper. We are one nation under God. We are all in this together. And if the 47% doesn't make it, the country doesn't make it. government can solve all our problems, but we don't think it's the source of all our problems either. Just like we don't think that folks who are having a tough time are our problem, or welfare recipients are our problem, or, or corporations are our problem, or unions are our problem, or immigrants, or gays, or all the other groups that we're told to blame for our troubles. Because here in America, we believe we're in this thing together. We believe that all of us have responsibilities. During campaign season, you always hear a lot about patriotism. Well, you know what? It's time for a new economic patriotism. An economic patriotism rooted in the belief that growing our economy begins with a strong and thriving middle class. And if we rally around a new economic patriotism together, we can rebuild this economy together. We will grow the middle class together. We will move forward together. You can make that happen with your vote. Everyone across the country is watching the first day of voting here in Iowa. And as you cast your vote, I hope you accept the responsibility of getting 10 other people to cast their votes. So if we all commit to doing 10 and 10 and 10, that means that we will, as we expect to do, take Iowa for the president. It is already election day. Today is election day. See, the beauty of where you are is that early voting started yesterday. So right after I'm done speaking, I want you all to walk out that main door, follow the volunteers, and do your part to move this country forward. You can be one of the first people here in 2012 to cast your ballot for Barack Obama. So let me ask you one last thing. Are you ready for this? Are you ready to work for this? Are you fired up?